if you want to see how I got this effortless, give it to me. Chic look, then just keep on watching. You guys, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Today, I thought. When I was just starting out with makeup, I felt like I had no idea what to get and I felt like, especially when it comes to like drugstore, even some drugstore products can be quite expensive if you're on a really low budget. So I thought I would get some stuff. Um, to be honest, this all cost me about $80. This is pretty much like a full face of makeup. Usually I buy foundation that it costs like $100 just for one. So I feel like this was quite a bargain and I'm not even gonna lie. I've never tried any of these products except for one, no, two things, two things. Actually, it would have been cheaper because I bought nail polish. So it was probably like $60. So the two things that I have tried before is the Essence Gel Liner, the liquid one, and the Natural Bronzer, but I haven't tried this shade, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and this, I usually have, an, I have another one for my clients, I apply this on top, of a, on top of a liquid liner. This just makes it stay and it gives it a bit of an extra shine. This is like magical, but I've never tried it with the wand itself, like, so I'll see how that goes, if not I'll just Put a brush and we can use it use that um, i haven't like i literally bought this today i haven't opened anything if you watch my instagram story you would see that i literally was going shopping and i'm like you know what i'm gonna do a drugstore haul today so that's what we're gonna do i got this astralis metallic gold eyeshadow i got two of these essence lip stains by accident, I got two concealers. I was meant to only get the Essence one, but I'll try them both out. Pale bronzer. Got the Essence blush. Got the Revlon eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried this one, so I'm excited to see. I really wanted to try this Essence mousse foundation. And I also got this Essence liner. Now this was all about $60, but I'll leave the price here. I'll calculate it later. I have the receipt and I will let you know how this all totals up to be. So let's get to it. I am also going to use my... I'm also going to use my L'Oreal mascara and my Essence lip liner. And let's get to it. So I am gonna start off by applying both of these to two of my both of my eyelids. I really want to test out and see how they look before. You know, I am. Oh, I just blinded myself. So let's see how they look on my eyelids, and then I can suss it out how it's gonna actually be on my as a concealer. I'm gonna put the essence one on this eye and the other on that eye. So I'm going in with the Revlon, what palette is this? Velvet Rose palette. I'm going to go in with this shade first. I think this is number six. I'm just going to apply this on my crease. I don't know if you just saw the follet. So I kind of changed my mind about what I want to do with my eyes. So let's just change it up real quick. So I'm going back in with 6 and 12, 6 and 12, and honestly these are blending quite nicely, just quite a bit of fallout. So I'm going to bring that very lightly all the way there and just back, just using this as like a really light transition. So I tried out this new gym today and let me tell you, oh my gosh. Sorry, I just can't stop looking at my skin. It is behaving poorly, poorly, poorly. And I honestly just think that's because of all my skincare now and the weather. It's like winter in Australia or in, yeah, in Australia. So it has not been fun. My skin gets so, it used to get really dry here, but now I'm starting to get like, 
little patches everywhere so I've been doing more hydration masks because you know we need it so I'm gonna now go in with this gold shade and then I'm gonna mix it up with these two I just think it'll be fun to kind of play with the golds so I'm going in with the gel liner I'm going in with the black glittery golden shade it's really it looks really cute so I really hope it doesn't stuff up because I like how this is going let's see not not bad I don't know I feel like I could have even went higher with the liner so while I was blending the liner actually rubbed off Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't usually happen. It is a really good liner. I think it's good on top of something. So I'm going to just refix that. My all time favorite lashes are the Adele ones. I've been using Adele for a very long time, and they have always done me right. So. I will continue to use them. So I like my lash to look exactly like this. You want to just leave it? I'm <laughs> doing. Please just pretend that the line is there. But what do you think? And pretend I have concealer on. And nails. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm back. I kind of went a bit crazy with my eyes. Anyway. <laughs> oh wait that happened but I think I think it's because I dropped the bag at Coles. I was holding this little bag they gave me full of like what 12 products probably more I don't even know I have to count I'll write it somewhere <laughs> and I was holding a bag of meat and then I was holding a basket and it dropped and I just felt like everyone was stuck behind me and it was so embarrassing but I didn't really care that much I just kind of went upon my shopping. I laughed a little bit and I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably why this happened. Now, Essence didn't have, oh, they didn't have a primer. I was going to get another primer and then I was like, nah. Oh my gosh. You guys. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, but for real, what the F? Oh my, this... It feels like a velvet cupcake. It doesn't even feel like real makeup. I just wish I could like... Let you guys feel what I'm feeling. Hmm. This does say it is, it's a matte mousse. It doesn't even say it's a full coverage. For a natural matte finish. So it doesn't say that is full coverage. Although I will say it does cover quite nicely. I am like so not mad at you. So I am gonna put both concealers on and let's just like pray for the best. I'm using the Camouflage Essence one. I'm really excited to see how this goes. I actually have no idea how the hell this is gonna work with the mousse <laughs> foundation. So this could either be a mess or it could go well. I'm just gonna put like a little dot. Meh. Nah pray for the best with these two. I'm mixing them together, so I know that's against the rules, but we make our own rules here. All right, let's blend her out. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Maybelline. I will say that this concealer is creasing straight away. It is not, both of them are not full coverage, I don't think. Um, I personally do not like the concealers. I'm gonna go in now with the Rimeo Natural Bronzer. 
So this was one of the first makeup brands I actually ever started using. I used to wear this all the time, I remember. And I used to be like, oh my god, look at me. I, go, I wear makeup. Yeah, I forgot how pigmented they are. This looks gonna look crazy. Just wanna give myself some more color. Oh, holiday. So I'm going in with the Essence blush. Now this does look like it'll be good. So I'm just gonna like apply her just there. Oh, I kind of like these. I actually do not mind this blush at all. It's cute. Look, honestly, Essence have the best lip liners. Sorry, I just, every time I look at myself, I, I'm mortified. You know when you just feel really like, ugh. I feel like that today, especially with this. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> we all have our ups and down days. What can you do? So now I'm going in with the Maybelline Masters Chrome. Now I have talked about this in other videos. I will actually link a video at the top of my highlighter video. Basically it shows you where to place your highlighter for your face shape. It's like a song. And then when you feel like it's blinding, just a little bit more. <laughs> and that's it. So I'm taking a little bit of that black and I'm just going to pop that only on the outer corners, all right? We don't want to make this look any... I Like, I kind of like it and I kind of hate it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, yeah, I don't know how to feel. I scared you. I allow you to click out of this video, but before you do, just hit that subscribe button, please. And then you can go. <laughs> Seriously. What? Okay, I kind of like it. Oh, okay, I hope I don't F it up. In the middle. In the middle. Oh, baby! That's all. What are you thinking? Crazy or... I'm trying to think of a rhyme that rhymes with crazy and sexy, but I can't. For lipstick, I did pick two different shades. I picked... What shades are you? Excuse me. Laura. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It doesn't say, but it's these two shades. Um, now, it does say it is matte and it lasts eight hours. So I am definitely going to do... Maybe tomorrow I can like put this on and see if it actually lasts eight hours. Because you know me. I like to see if things are real. And I actually just want to say I don't like this applicator. But let's see. I don't want to judge it straight away. I just did, but let's see anyway. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Oh, wow. That smells divine. This is very pink. I did not think it looked like this. I always overline and then look what happens. Ta-da! So let me start with the Revolution palette. Now, I personally think this is a hit. I think... Oh. That was so random. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good palette, honestly. If you're on a budget and you're looking for something that's kind of versatile and has brownie and goldy tones, I would say this is a pretty good palette. It is, it does have like a lot of fallout. Other than that, I think it does blend pretty well. It's, it's pretty good. Like I, I'd say it's pretty decent. The powder. Now I don't know if it's the foundation, but I feel like it used to be a bit more like, it used to stay on your skin a little bit more. I feel like lately, like with this look, it kind of just rubbed all off. So I'll try it again, but I do think it's a pretty good bronzer in general. I feel like it looked it looks pretty good. It blended really well, even though it kind of drifts it off into space. It, it was pretty good. If you are on a budget, give it a go. Give it a go if you want to, if it's on sale. <laughs> Only if it's on sale. <laughs> the mousse. Dun, dun, dun. This honestly felt freaking amazing. Like, 
like it said on the bottle it is pretty natural coverage i don't think the shade is completely my shade i feel like i definitely want to try it again with a more natural look and see how it wears all day it did hold everything pretty well i think so i think this is actually this was quite surprising to be honest i i quite liked it i don't think it accentuated any of my pores it blended out so effortlessly and i honestly think you need a little bit for your whole face like i i really want to try again try it again i think yeah i'm quite excited about this i don't know i think it'll be a fun product to to try out so if you want to laugh i have actually just misplaced my no i Okay, I feel like I like actually have to tell you what just happened. So I thought I misplaced my <laughs> Essence Concealer. So I literally just got up. I had a look around and I was holding it in my hand the whole time. Wow. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Do you ever like hold something or have something on you and you're looking for it? Because it happens to me sometimes and I'm always just like, wow, Jesse. Wow. Anyways. <laughs> The concealers. I'm going to be honest. I don't think these are worth it. I think, look, this was literally $5. So, you know, it's, it's okay. This was, I think, $9. Look, I don't think that they're full coverage enough for me per se. I have dark circles, so I like something a bit more fuller coverage. Um, this the tone of these were pretty this was a bit more white i felt like i needed something a bit more tan so it says it's waterproof and it's tattoo covering so i actually i'm gonna try that out i have a tattoo on the back of my neck so i'm gonna try this out and see if it is true because i don't think that even really covered my under eyes properly unless i was doing something wrong or maybe i have to use it again on my own but if it does cover my tattoo then i'm definitely gonna try it on my eyes so let me know if you want to see that in the description below should i film that like me trying to cover my tattoo with this it might be fun because a lot of products claim to cover tattoos and then you try and they don't so i think that will be actually exciting to see and it says it's waterproof so you know i'm gonna dump in the shower after <laughs> this essence liner i highly recommend i recommend though you applying applying this on top of another aligner so you don't need to get it if you like don't want or if you just want a liner that you know you like like a really cheap liner get it but i'm just gonna let you know that if you do stuff up fix it quick because as soon as it dries that's it you cannot play with this once this is set like it'll rub off if you go over it that's why when i did my lines i literally could not play with them so i actually redone it three times because i wasn't happy with it so little tip about this one if you want her the essence blush was quite cute i actually think i would definitely use that again i will use this like for my eyes my cheeks probably my lips too i think it's pretty it's very she like but i think it really will suit a lot a lot of skin tones and it blended really nicely with my bronzer which i thought was so important now this little astralis like it's a metallic shimmer i actually really liked it on top of the metals i felt like it just gave it an extra little boom. um so i would definitely be using this bad boy again i want to try it on its own actually and see how she plays out you already know i love this if you want a highlighter i highly thousand million percent recommend this it's gorgeous it comes with another white like a very pasty shade it's so pretty okay last but definitely not least the lipsticks or stains or whatever they are liquid lipstick okay they're lipsticks <laughs> so these are incredible um like i said the shade wasn't for this look unfortunately so i had to kind of just quick fix quick quick think on my feet um although this shade is going to be gorgeous and i think married together they're beautiful with maybe like a lighter look i think they're they're actually amazing and they were literally i think five dollars if i'm wrong i will put the price tag somewhere around but i'm pretty sure that they were five dollars and that is so cheap so i've just got like two lipstick like stains i keep saying stains no jesse lipsticks lipsticks i got two lipsticks <laughs> for ten dollars i really hope you guys enjoyed this look if you want me to review anything specific let me know in the comments below make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you're gonna get notified every time i upload without further ado my lovelies 
Toodaloo. Bye.